Hey yarn friends. So this video is going to be about large knitting machines. This is the Addy Express that has 46 pegs. And this is the Quick Knit by Loops and Threads that you can purchase at Michael's. And this machine has 40 pegs. So today I want to tell a little bit about each one of these machines and how useful they have been to me. So I'm going to start with the Loops and Thread one today since that is the cheaper machine. And I will set the Eddy Express over to the side and come back to it in just a moment. So on the market out there, there are lots of cheaper, large size knitting machines. This is the Loops and Thread that I purchased at Michael's. I think they run around like $69, $70. Of course, I did not pay that. I actually purchased mine on a day when there was a 60% off coupon. So they, you know, have the 40% off all the time. Then every now and then they have the 50% off. And then once in a while, they'll have a 60% off. So I did use a 60% off coupon on this. And I've had this particular machine for about a year and a half. I have not had any problems with this machine. I have used it lots. Now, out there on the market, there are several different other types and brands of large knitting machines. Like I said, this one has 40 pegs. I know there are some that have like um, in the 40 range, and I think I've even seen some that had like 48 pegs. So I can't really comment on those machines because I've never used those, but I can tell you about this machine. But I think they're all kind of comparable, actually. Um, I have made lots of stuffies and different things with this machine. I haven't had any problems with it. I've seen some reviews out there that I don't think gave this machine a good enough chance. Maybe it was misused. Um, or maybe they just used it a ton more than I did. But I think, um, there are some videos out there that doesn't, doesn't give it a very fair enough review. So on this machine, I am very careful about the yarns I use, and I didn't realize until lately that the instruction book says to use a number three or two weight. I have always used a four weight yarn on this, and I haven't had any problems. Now, sometimes when I'm using it and it gets to, um, it'll get to a point where it doesn't want to work, I just stop. And take my yarn out and get my yarn off if you hold the yarn straight up then the yarn kind of comes down from the bottom I mean it just come off and fall down or sometimes I might have to go backwards a little and pick some of the yarn off but when I'm using a yarn and it has resistance and it doesn't want to take the yarn I just stop the machine and remove that yarn and I will give the yarn another chance usually I give a yarn three chances and if the machine doesn't like the yarn in three chances, then I deem that as a yarn that is not compatible with my machine. And I do want to say that each machine is kind of different, whether it is um, this brand. It may just be, um, it, it may not like the same yarns that I use. And whether it's a different brand, it may not like the same yarns that I use. Each machine, even in the same family, might have different likes and dislikes. So that is just something you have to play around with and figure out what works for your machine. Now in any of the knitting machines, whether it's a small knitting machine or a large knitting machine, the four is the largest yarn I would use. I would not try to use anything over a number four yarn. This machine does like the Impeccable yarn, and it also likes the Vanna's Choice yarn, and I find that my machine likes the Red Heart yarn. My machine does not like variegated yarn, and it does not like the green in this yarn. I'm not sure exactly why. Your machine might like variegated, and it might like the green. Um, I'm just saying that in my machine, in my experience, I've not been able to use variegated red heart yarn, 
and I was not able to use the green yarn. Uh, on this machine, it um, you will see that it has a peg right here that is black. The rest of the pegs are white. So that is your first peg. Now I took a Sharpie and marked this right here so I would know that my first peg is in between that because when I'm going around I want to be able to see that as it goes around so I'll know when my round is about up so I can know that round one is about to end round one and then I can just go on and I know when my round is coming without that I wouldn't be able to see so it's okay to mark your machine to help you and also, um, the, the inside of this machine has plastic gears. They will break and they will wear down over time. So if you are having any kind of resistance, my suggestion is just stop and remove the yarn. You can try the yarn again or just go to a different yarn. I would not force it because if you force it, it is going to tear the teeth off of the gears and your machine will not last. But like I said, I've been using this machine for about a year and a half. I've had great experience with it. I watched a lot of videos before I started using the machine. So I knew that I needed to be very careful, cautious with it. This machine has a um, tension thing right here. So I always put my tension right here in the end. And this machine does not... Um, bolt down to a table or anything like that. So I just hold my machine right here and I turn and I count my rows as I see it's coming around. I see row one, row two, and I just count as my rows are coming around. And I'm usually watching some um, YouTube videos or something or Netflix or whatever. While I'm doing that, but I just kind of keep an eye on these spots right here, so I'll know that to count it as it comes around. This machine also has a switch where you can do tube, or you can push it down and do pan flat panels. I have not used the flat panel position, so I really can't talk about that. I know lots of people have when they've um, needed a flat piece for whatever they're making. I just haven't had the need for that. Everything I've made, the tube works great for it. So, everything I've made has been in the tube mode. Now, this machine, um, I, I go slow. I've seen some videos where people are just going zoom, zoom fast. I like to give my yarn, um, the best chance that I can give it, and the best chance is to go, let's see, I, I might go about this fast, and I don't usually get any faster than that. I want to give my yarn the best chance that I can so it gets caught up in the hooks with the needles and taken down and put in the right place, and I just feel like speed knitting is um, not my thing. It's not... I don't think that's giving the yarn the best chance. So I just take it at a slow pace and go. Um, as I've said, this machine has worked great for me. I haven't had any problems with it. I'm sure there are other knitting machines out there that are comparable to this machine. Um, you can find them on Amazon at different prices. There are a different number of pegs for this machine. I've made children's hats, um, cowls, lots of scarves, stuffies, plushies, um, different things of that nature. But I don't find that this, this machine makes an adult hat. The hats I've made on this machine... Um, were too small for any adult in my house, but it makes a great child size hat. You can make um, baby hats, toddler, and child size hats. 
this is a great machine just to try out knitting machines to see if that's something that you want to um, use if to find out if it's something you like or don't like or just you know if you don't want to spend a lot of money on the AliExpress to begin with and you just want to try out knitting machines I suggest look on Amazon it doesn't have to be this machine or this brand you can look on Amazon and see what you can find on there and like I said this one is sold at Michaels and you know I would definitely try to use the 40 50 or even a 60 percent off coupon if you were to purchase that but um it's a good little machine I've had lots of good luck with it so that's, I think that's about all I can say about this machine <laughs> right now so let me move on over to the Addy Express <coughs> okay this is the Addy Express machine my son surprised me at Christmas with this machine and I was totally surprised I had no idea not expecting at all okay so this machine does have three black pegs that's peg number one two and three and so I did mark the spot right here so when it's spinning around I can see that black mark and I'll know that it's coming now this machine does have a counter it's a digital counter and it's not always accurate. Sometimes it jumps, sometimes it skips. Most of the times it does jump. Every now and then it works perfectly. So I do count my rounds even with this counter because sometimes it just has a little hiccup. One great thing about these, when it is working good, it works great. <laughs> and if you stop on your project and then you come back later, I mean, I would totally write down what number I left on, but then when you come back later, the screen will be blank, but as you come back around and you pass that first peg again, the, the number will pop up there. This machine also can be used on flat or tube panels. It's just a little switch. Again, I've never used the flat feature I've always used the tubes so I can't really talk about flats this machine does come with some hardware that you can um, secure this to a table I haven't found the need to um, it has a little bit of a rubber grip on the bottom and when I'm using it I hold on to this and this machine doesn't have the um, attention Thing out here so I have my yarn coming out from here and I just have it loosely in my hand right here I'm not sure well, how well you can see that but I just have my yarn kind of loosely right here not holding it too tight it's just running through my hand and I just hold my machine down with this and that works great for me I haven't felt the need to bolt this to a table but of course again I'm going at a fairly slow pace. I'm not trying to um, beat any kind of records. Now the inside of this machine has metal teeth. So of course it's going to last longer than a one with plastic teeth on the gears. So, um, and this machine is... Um, does cost quite a bit more it's usually in the 200 range but um, I do believe this machine the quality of the machine is you know a lot better so I do feel like it is worth the money if that's you know the route you want to go but I would suggest if you're just thinking about knitting machines you want to know if a knitting machine is something you would like I would certainly buy a cheaper one to try it out and then if you see that it's something that would be useful for you and your um, craft making then you might want to try out for a larger knitting machine 
And again, on this machine, you use a number four yarn or less. And I use Red Heart. And I use the Impeccable. And I also use the Vanna's Choice. And I also have used the Walmart Mainstay brand. And I have, I've had good luck with those. I haven't tried any others because... Um, I knew that that's what worked for me in the other one, and so that's the yarns I have on hand, so I just have always stuck with these. There may be other yarns that it likes just as well. Um, again, I said, you know, a number four or less. I would not try a number five in these machines at all. I don't believe it would take it. Um, I've made lots of things with this. I'm enjoying it very much. I have a few things that I've made that I haven't quite showed on my vid videos yet that I'm really excited about. And um, I think it's well worth the money. So that concludes my, not really review, but just to say that there are large knitting machines out there. Of course, this one is the best. These little knockoff machines can be enjoyable. They can be a great introductory to knitting machines, so you can get an idea if this is something that you like or not. Um, you know, I would try to find it on Amazon, or use a coupon at Michael's, or just try to find, you know, the cheapest price you can for these knitting machines, because like I said, you know, these aren't meant to last forever. The um, plastic gears in there will wear down, the teeth may break, and then the knitting machine will not be any use. Um, the Addies, the large and the small Addies, I believe are more professional quality. Um, you can just tell that it's a better made machine, and um, it's one for, it's going to be around for a while is what I'm trying to say. This machine could break at any moment. Again, as I've said with this one, I've been very careful with the yarn. I've never forced it. When it gets to a point where it acts like it doesn't like the yarn or want to take any more yarn, I just stop and pull it out and try again. I would do the same thing with this. I'm very cautious and, you know, I take very good care of it. Even when I'm not using it, I want it put away and so, you know, it doesn't get knocked off or get broke in any kind of way because that is a chunk of money. <laughs> and I just want to be careful with it. And again, if, it, if I was using a yarn on this and it acted like it didn't want to take the yarn, I would stop and take the yarn off and try again. And I would give a yarn three tries before I deem it not usable in the machines. That's just my personal you know, this is plastic. The handle is made of plastic. Um, so things can break on this. Not saying that it's unbreakable or anything. Definitely, this is all plastic. Um, so it can break, but you can tell it is a better quality machine. So that's my talk on the two large knitting machines that I have experience with. There are other videos that will show, tell you more about other large size knitting machines and you can check those out on YouTube. Just search knitting machines or large knitting machines or even search Addy Express and things will come up for you. But um, I do plan on making some future videos showing how to use the machine showing projects that I make on the machine and making the projects on the machines. So if you're interested in knitting machines, come back and check out the videos about knitting machines in the future. Thanks for stopping by today.